hello. Uh, this is Ryan with Good Vape. First of all, I'd like to say thank you for clicking and watching the video. Any comments, critiques, criticisms, or even clicks on that little like button would greatly be appreciated, as well as a subscription. You know, it uh, doesn't cost anything, and I do appreciate it. Um, today, we're going to be talking about this monster of a tank. Yes, this monster of a tank. And no, the juice isn't bad, that's just the way the juice um, first of all, before I get into this, I'd like to say I apologize, but for some reason, the wicking portion of this uh, video did not get recorded, although it wicks very, they are very similar to any other RTA. Um, but I do have, you know, putting a coil on, getting the coil set up, and just a complete breakdown of the, uh, of the, of this RTA. Um, also, uh, I would also like to go ahead and throw a shout out and a big thank you to Tim. Um, Tim's probably not one of my subscribers, but I know him from a Facebook page, and um, you know why I'm saying thank you. Uh, it's going to leave that at that. Don't mean to sound overly, uh, overly uh, cryptic, but eh, oh well. So without any further ado, let's just uh, dive down and look at this thing. I mean. You've already wasted like a minute and 36 seconds looking at my ugly mug. So, Okay, what we have here is the Mod Father Voltro 41mm RTA. You heard that right. This thing is 41 millimeters. It is a huge son of a gun. Now, um, look at the packaging. It's fairly simplistic. Uh, warning keep how to reach your children keep I'm not sure why the I in children is is so small but oh well uh, keep away from pets so I guess uh, I guess Loki over there is uh, SOL and uh, not for sale to minors also a small I maybe it's something to do with the type facing who knows uh, how he suggested this RTA be disassembled and cleaned thoroughly prior to its first use, which I will do. I will do that. So, uh, this thing actually slides out, and voila. I swear to God, this thing looks like a shot glass with metal caps. Gun metal caps, uh, oh, caps at that. And uh, they do look nice. I mean, it's very well machined. Uh, it's, it's huge. Um, I hope I've got enough e-liquid to fill this. I'm kidding, I do. I have a lot of the stuff. I have a problem. <laughs> uh, just unscrew the top fill cap. And this thing, I'm about to say, this is a self-defense weapon. Because if I'm being chased by someone who, like, you know, hates me for vaping or whatever, I could take this cap off and chunk it at him and knock the bastard out cold. Uh, big fill holes, big enough for the widest of unicorn bottles or drippers. Hell, you can even see all the way down to the post. Now, this cap does come off, and the glass does come out for cleaning purposes. Um, but uh, I'm going to do that off camera because it's not as easy as you would like to think. This bottom cap comes off here. It goes just around the... Uh, beautifully threaded 510 pin and from here this is the under part you can see through here there are wicking holes all along the base where juice drips down and it drips down into this area and kind of fills in here and then you take this this is your build deck it's held in but it's got tabs right here and here that fit into grooves and this is your massive massive deck i mean this thing is astronomically huge especially for our, for an rda a uh, fairly simple design nice oh uh flathead screws there um now as far as extras this thing does come with a bag of spare O-rings, uh, new screws, 
Here's a big gasket and a spare glass. I've looked, the one thing that kinda sucks is it does not come with a screwdriver. But, I mean, seriously, who doesn't have a flathead screwdriver? You know, not, not, trying, to, not trying to tool shame anyone, but you should have a flathead screwdriver already. I mean, it's, it's common sense. So uh, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna leave here. I'm gonna go clean this thing. I'm going to put. A, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna just jump back, and when you see me again, I will be putting coils on it. So, okie dokie. We are back. I've put a couple of fused Claptons in. Uh, it's a 36 gauge wrapped around 26 gauge. Oh shite, all stainless steel. Stainless steel. Sorry, I can't talk today. Uh, six wraps, and yeah, I stretched those leads out. We're gonna get them nice and glowy on the inside. As measures out at point one nine ohm, oh, one seven ohm, point one seven ohm. So, uh, Obviously, I need to tighten down some of these leads. Oh yeah, much, much tightness. Now, so there's one thing that I found is if you have one coil glowing faster than the other, usually means you have some loose screws. You know what, I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna have to do this off camera. I'm still not used to it. I'm gonna come back once it's glowing, show it off and wicker it. Okay, we are back with these coils installed. It's coming out to 0.2 ohms, and we are getting a nice, nice. Of course, I may have to crank this. Yeah, I'm gonna have to crank it up some because it's. Uh... I'll say, well, I got a few hot spots now. I'm gonna work those out, and we're gonna wick this thing up. But I would like to point out the fact I'm getting some I'm getting some very beautiful colors. It's now mostly kind of a straw amber color, but uh, it's one of the things I love. I love the colors that I get from stainless steel. But uh, I'm gonna wick this thing up. Damn, I just love the size of this thing. I'm gonna wick it up, and then we're gonna talk about the fill system. Okay, we're back out to face view, um, and here it sits on top of my eye joy. I'm trying to remember which one this one is. I've had it for a while. It, oh hell, iJoin Lim It's the iJoy Limitless. It, it uses the uh, the really big batteries, the 26 650s. Um, and I'm gonna do a little experiment because I, I I didn't see how much this holds. So I've got this 120 mil bottle. I put a little sharpie mark on it. We're gonna fill this bastard up, and then we're gonna see how much is left. Now I'm not going to be able to, that's not going to be an adequate measurement, or an accurate measurement, but it's a little fun thing, so. One thing to remember when filling up an RTA, or even, or any tank really, is to close off, if there are juice flow controls, close them off before you get started. And if not, close off the airflow control. Now I'm not going to fill this thing slam full because something tells me that this juice will go bad in here before I get a chance to actually vape it all. Um, okay, I just filled up as much as I could. You see where the line is now, or see where how much juice is in it now, compared to how much there was. Th and there's still ah, why the hell not? Let's go ahead and fill it up to the bottom of the hole. And here is the Voltro, or the, the 41 millimeter Voltro by the Mod Father. You know, very reminiscent of the Godfather, right there. Um, so open up the airflow on it. Now the airflow ring does spin freely. It doesn't have any locking on it. Uh, I'm at 
Okay, I'm gonna go up to 80 watt. And this thing looks like it's got a lot of airflow, so I'm gonna start off at halfway on the airflow. Set this thing back a little bit and I'm not oh shoot. I mean, I'm not sure if you can hear this or not, but that's halfway open and it's like damn it's, it's like I'm just breathing. I'm, I'm not used to the big, you know, gigantic cloud chuckers. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not used to doing the whole bunch of cloud chucking, but I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to open up this full, good full airflow. Let's see how this thing goes. I feel like I'm going to hit myself in the head and get knocked out by this thing. It's so heavy, but... It's quite nice. I mean, most people say, well, when you get to the big airflow, you lose flavor. I'm not losing a drop of flavor. The flavor has not deteriorated one single bit. I love this thing. It's not leaking. It tastes good. It looks awesome. And it's just a great device. There is just a few minor cons. One, due to the sheer size of this, the mouthpiece on it looks a little wonky. It looks a little weird. It looks a little strange. But it's a wide bore mouthpiece. To give you an idea, this is my red icon. Yes, I went back and ordered a red one. Why? Because I think it, because this makes me think of Deadpool. But I'm going to stick it on top. Yeah, the the inner diameter of this is actually bigger than the inner diameter of this. Um, but I love the gun metal. I love the finish, the fit, everything about this thing is awesome. The average price you find these for online is about ninety-five bucks to one hundred fifteen, hundred twenty. Which, if you're looking for a massive, awesome, kick-ass, pretty much kind of customish tank, this is the thing for you. If you're looking for that one thing, you've always got that one. Thing. You know, the fellow vapor that likes to show up with like the biggest or the baddest. And you want to outdo that son of a bitch? This is what you need. Uh, okay, I'm going to close this thing out like I always do. Uh, remember, as always, keep on vaping. Because vaping does save lives. And as always, as always, F the FDA.